Hey guys, Kevin here with your KevCam tip of the day today. So what I want to show you guys today is some intersecting geometry um, that we that you guys may run across every once in a while and what we've done to accommodate for this. So you'll see right here, um, let me hop back over to my geometry and just do a show. And basically what I did is I drew some end lines on there to extend it uh, farther past. But you'll see my chain one actually intersects the tail end of that chain one as well. So what ends up happening is, let me show you the toolpath, is we'll get one that will extend past, but not the other. Um, and that's because the toolpaths are intersecting themselves. Well, easy enough to get around that if you guys need to uh, have that toolpath go over itself is go into your technology section right here. And under the technology section, click on the checkbox where it says ignore toolpath intersections with geometry. This will allow the geometry to overlap itself. So let's just do save and calculate. And now you'll see that our geometry is doing exactly uh, what we're trying to achieve right here. So I just want to show you guys that for the tip of the day today. And uh, we get that question asked quite often in uh, on the tech call. So I just wanted to make a quick video showing you how to do that. And like I said, it's a simple uh, checkbox, just telling it that to ignore uh, toolpath intersections with geometry. So it will uh, overlap itself. So just want to share that with you guys for the tip of the day today and uh, check back tomorrow with your tip of the day. Thanks guys. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.